Hey all you Harry Potter fans out there, I have another collector's book here. This is for the Fantastic Beasts movie. Um, this is the first Fantastic Beasts movie of Where to Find Them. Just like the Harry Potter film wizardry book, which I had also done a video on earlier, this one features a lot of pictures, graphics, and also pop-up and inserts that make it a very interactive book to read, so it's really great for all ages, children to adults, and really anybody who's interested in the behind the scenes and filmmaking process of the Harry Potter movies. So taking it out of its shrink wrap, you can see this really beautifully designed book. Um, it is made to mimic uh, Newt Scamander's actual briefcase, you can see here there is a little false magnetic spine to cover up the other end of the book. As usual, I really love these film wizardry books just because they really pay attention to all the embossing and detailing on the actual cover design, both on the front, the spine, and also on the back. Retail price of this book is $45 US, but you can definitely find this for much cheaper, less than 50% on Amazon. As usual, I'll put the product link in the description. This hardcover book contains 160 pages, which I'll be briefly flipping through in this video. Um, this is just an overview video, just to show you the contents and also the inserts of this book. If you're interested, of course, in purchasing, I recommend you check out the product link in the description. This is not a review, but rather a good glimpse of whether or not you think this collector's item would be worth your money. Opening up this book, as usual, it has beautiful, glossy, high-quality paper. The table of contents is designed as if it was a bunch of mismatched um, lists, so it's like a scrapbook design, just like the other film wizardry book. So after the foreword, you're greeted with basically chapters of the book. So first of which they introduce the characters, so starting off with Newt Scamander here. And here you see the first insert that's designed inside this book. It's a snippet from their newspaper, it even features a little crossword puzzle on the back. And then next they introduce the other three characters, so Jacob Kowalski and then the Goldstein sisters. In Tina Goldstein's section, they actually have uh, her ID card, which has her uh, picture as a lenticular card, which is really cool. And then of course her fingerprints. Afterwards, that's it for the characters chapter, and then we move on to chapter 3, which is New York, which is the bulk of where the movie was filmed. And this really details all of the sets, costume, designs that they had used, some um, shots that they had taken into account when trying to film these places. There is a good section about Senator Shaw when he was running for president. You can see there's actually another insert here, basically um, propaganda on trying to get him elected. Next chapter is on the Magical Congress of the U.S. And the cool insert here is basically a notice if you were to misuse your wand um, to basically expose yourself as a wizard, so it's kind of like a ticket <laughs> in their world. Not only does this book have a bunch of inserts, but it also has full-blown pages with no text at all, like this one. Then a few pages down, you're greeted with this kind of like top secret file folder attachment here. And inside this particular one is a map of kind of like the governing bodies of the wizardry world in the US. And what I did notice about this particular envelope design as compared to the film wizardry one for Harry Potter is that this one is completely open at the top, which definitely makes it easier to take out and re-put in the inserts, which is definitely very much appreciated. But moving on, the next chapter is about the New Salem Philanthropic Society. And you can see one of the inserts is their little propaganda material or pamphlet that what they were handing out, basically trying to get rid of witches. They believe that witches and wizards exist and they are not happy to be living amongst them. So this small section just talks about the Barebones, Mary Lou Barebone, her orphanage, um, Credence, of course, and then the other orphans. Next section was on the blind pig, so it starts to talk about um, the fact that Tina and also Newt are becoming wanted people. So appropriately, they have nice full-blown wanted posters for both Tina and Newt. Next chapter is called the finale, but it's actually not the final chapter in this film wizardry book. This chapter covers the final few scenes in the movie. Final chapter in this book is on Newt's case, which I think is the most interesting of all because it covers all of the effects that they did for his case and of course designing all the creatures. And the confidential document in this section is basically a nice glossy map of what the wizards would use to navigate the world. Not very detailed in my opinion, but it's just kind of a nice little collector's item to have. 
And continue on, you see these are the several pages on this beast um, that were found in Newt's case. I find the Niffler very interesting to read about. But those beasts conclude this book, and the final page, of course, is just the credits and also the copyright issue. You can see the very first printing, which I have here, is 2016. The final little extra here is taped at the very back of the book. It's a wand permit. You just fill this out to basically apply for a wand. Pretty interesting. I like the way it's laid out. Not so happy that I had to take out my pocket knife to cut the tape that was sealing it. But hey, it's a really nice little extra to have. And that concludes this unboxing and quick flip through overview of the Case of Beasts for the Fantastic Beasts movie, Where to Find Them. Once again, I have the product link in the description where you can get it for real cheap. And definitely check out my playlist, which will be a thumbnail at the end of this video, of my other collectible Harry Potter items.